Hi besties, welcome back to another vlog. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, those clips that you just saw before I filmed yesterday. I could have just pretended that I filmed them this morning, but I just wanna be real with you guys. I filmed that yesterday thinking that I was going to vlog throughout the day, but then something came up and I was helping my friend paint their room. Just letting you guys know because I feel weird knowing and you guys don't. I'm probably going to continue this vlog today and tomorrow just because I do have a bit of filming to do today so I'm not sure how much footage I'll be able to get but I thought I would start off the vlog with an unboxing kind of a half unboxing because I've already unboxed one of them last night but I still want to show you guys it is Thursday January 20th 11 51 in the morning I just got finished having my breakfast I worked out I showered and I am ready for the day. I'm just about to edit after this, but I wanted to do an unboxing because one of them is from Nespresso and I wanna make a coffee. Let's do the Cove box first though. You guys know my obsession with Cove Essentials. They're a Toronto-based hair clip or hair accessory brand. I have so many of their clips already, but they added the black hair clip to their line and I missed their first drop of the black clip so I knew I had to pick up a few pieces so I got two things one of them I have in my hair right now so it's just their cloud clip in black and then I also picked up the mega clip in black I don't have any of the mega clips I don't have very thick hair so I never really reach for these but as my hair is getting longer I find sometimes it's hard to clip up all my hair especially if I don't use my Dyson and just let my hair air dry, my hair is a lot thicker. So I decided to just get the mega one. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. So here is what it looks like. I'll have it linked down below. And then their packaging is just stunning, all eco-friendly. I'm just beyond obsessed with Cove Essentials at this point. Like I said, I have a box from an espresso. So I actually went to place an online order a few days ago for more Bianca Ligueros because I ran out and for some reason it wasn't letting, there wasn't an option for my local mall. I do know that that store is technically a pop-up store so maybe they're closing or something, I don't really know. So I had to order this online which is fine, it comes very fast. The only thing about online orders is that you have to buy at least five sleeves which is kind of annoying i've been missing having my oat milk lattes it's just not the same having a regular sized coffees i think in one of my previous vlogs i placed an espresso order and got the forest almond pods and i do not like them at all they're very sweet and i just don't like it and then i got more melozio but just honestly nothing else compares to my double shot with my oat milk it's just my favorite so yeah that is it i always talk about my nespresso but if you guys have the virtue the bianca Ligero is my favorite and then i used my barista edition oat milk with the frother and it's amazing it tastes like a starbucks oat milk oat milk latte so i'm about to go make one of those right now I'll bring you guys with me if you are new here. Maybe you don't know how I make my coffees, but for a lot of you, you've seen it before. I'm in the, why did I say that's so weird? I'm in the mall parking lot. I also have a huge box, like it's a Poshmark order that I need to take to the post office, but I just decided to come to the mall first. So over the past like week or so, I've been trying to decide on a new coat. I don't know what it is recently, but my long super puff that I'm wearing right now is like really bugging me. And I just really want to get like just a regular short, black coat also and I know I will wear it a lot so I was thinking of getting the North Face one 
but I just don't think I have it in me to spend like $450 on a new coat right now. So I think I'm going to get one from Aritzia. I was looking at the Cloud Puff in black. I think that one's like $250. So obviously still very expensive, but I'm okay with investing in Aritzia because I know it's really good quality but definitely not as much as $450. So that's why I'm at the mall right now. I'm going to pick it up if they have it in stock. I think I'm gonna get an extra small, um, not a small. I don't know, I'll try it on. I don't wanna get another super puff just because I already have a super puff. So that's why I was looking at either the North Face or getting the Cloud Puff. I believe that one's by Wilfred or Babaton, but yeah. Let's go. I'm back home. I will do a haul. I just ate some leftovers for lunch and made a tea. I don't know why I didn't show you guys me making the tea. My bad, but I just made an orange pico tea. Been really obsessed with tea lately. And I just steeped it for like five minutes and put honey in it and it is so good. I've been trying to drink less coffee. I'm not ready or I don't want to ever completely give it up. But I'm trying to do like one a day. Today I had two but like I'm trying to cut down to just one and then have tea like one or two times a day. Just because tea is a lot better for you I think. I don't know but I know it's a lot better for you than coffee. Mm. I also just really like the taste of tea. But anyway, let's do an unboxing. I got the Wolfred Cloud Puff Black Extra Small. So I got an extra small just because I wanted this coat as something easy to throw on. And I don't really think I'll be layering that much under it. So I just got my normal size and I think it fits perfectly. I have a sweater on right now. I purposely wore one to the mall. And that's that, I think it's so cute exactly what i was looking for i just find sometimes the long one is super annoying if i'm in a rush and i just like quickly need to leave the house a little normal size coat like this is perfect and like i said i didn't want another super puff just because i've i already have a long one so i wanted something different and i really like the material of this one i like how it literally looks like a duvet on your bed <laughs> it's so cute it's just like a little bit more mature and elevated than a super puff you know what i mean this one doesn't have a hood but that's not a problem with me technically didn't need it but i know i will get a lot of wear out of it and i'm very happy with the purchase i've been really good with containing myself with shopping and just being more aware with my purchases which is one of my new year's resolutions i just need to be more conscious with my purchases so i have not been buying a lot but yeah i don't really know what i'm going to do now i said i was going to film a video today but it's already three o'clock and by the time i finish my makeup and i'm ready it will be like four so it's going to start getting dark very soon i think i'm just going to film it tomorrow because it's supposed to be sunny and i can do that in the early afternoon i'm going to change into a sweat set right now let's do a nice transition i don't know if that worked but i just changed into this mayfair sweat set that i got in like 2020 forgot i had this i actually have not wore it in like a year but it's really cute and if it's still available i will have it linked down below but i'm going to just chill in my room and probably watch some youtube videos drink my tea and then once i'm done my tea i'm going to do my laundry because it is filled to the brim and I haven't done it in a while just because my routine has been kind of thrown off and I was on track of doing my laundry every Sunday but for the past few Sundays I haven't really had a lot of laundry to do so I've just been waiting till my bin is full to do it. So yeah, talk to you guys in a bit. drive-thru 
I just showered and everything. That's why I have my hair clipped back. Still trying to decide if I want to use my Dyson today. I think I don't want to. So it's like wet and I just have my Mega Clip in. But I don't know what I want to get at Starbucks. I kind of want... Actually, I do know what I'm getting. I don't know why I said that. Because I was prepared. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing everything. Can I please get a Grande Caramel Macchiato with oat milk? Yeah, I'm And can I get that half sweet, please? Yeah, I'm That's everything. Hot, please. Thank you. I got a caramel macchiato because I have not had one in probably a year. And they're so good. And I'm just really craving one. I'm also wearing my new coat. I love it. Thank you so much. You too. Take a quick sip. Oh, that's so good. Hi guys, it is several hours later. As you can tell, I ended up doing my hair. My makeup is done and I just finished filming a video. It's a garage haul, you guys. That will be like one of the next few videos that you see after this one. So in my last vlog, you guys saw me ship off one of my film rolls to get developed and scanned and sent to me over email. And I got them today and they turned out so good. And also thank you guys so much for educating me on film in my last video because I actually sound like such a dumbass. So I don't know why I thought that my film roll had 200 photos, but really it was 36. So when my film rewound, it's because it was empty and I didn't break my camera. It makes sense that it would be 36 photos because when you buy them at the store, the disposable ones, they're around that many photos too. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for commenting that because now I know, but... As you guys know, I sent it to Annex Photo Lab in Toronto. They sent me the invoice last Friday and today's Friday, so it takes them a week to send you the photos, which is not too bad. So yeah, you just like get an email from them with all the attached photos in it. So I kind of want to go through them and show you guys because they turned out so good and I'm so happy with my film camera. Just can't wait to take more photos with it. Now that I've actually seen how good that they turn out, I'm gonna be addicted. A lot of them are random because I thought I had 200 when in reality I had 36. So like there's one of me and Django, my face looks so weird, but it's whatever. And then I have like this one of me, my brother, Tinsel, just like random ones, like my dad. <laughs> but look how cute this one of my brother and Tinsel is. And I just have like random stuff. And then this is when I went out with my friends for Steph's birthday. We took a lot at the bar. We were really drunk, so like some of them are funny, but <laughs> also I have this random photo of people that were sitting beside us at the bar because they took a photo, a group photo of us, so we took one of them and I kind of want to post it on, <laughs> on TikTok and be like, please find this couple. I should definitely do it because you know tiktok would find them. But anyway, I ended up posting a few on my Instagram. But yeah, because I shared the place I was shipping my film off to, I thought I would show you guys how they turned out. And hopefully this was helpful if maybe you guys were interested in sending your film there. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. So excited. Hi guys, I'm editing the video. Once again, I forgot to close it off. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in a few days.